with the Warriors, man. I, look, if they don't make a deep run this year, there's going to be some difficult decisions to make for Joe Lacob and company. And Mike Dolevy, uh, who I think has done a good job so difficult? far. Well, I mean, think about it. The loyalty that they have for this core group, the loyalty they have with these guys who have won championships and built this baby from the ground up, you got to make some tough choices here. And you got to figure out a way to shed some money. Now, Clay Thompson's a free agent. Chris Paul has a team option. We'll see what happens here, but it, it's last night was just unacceptable to come out in the game and be down eight nothing before we blinked our eyes. Down eighteen four before I settled into my seat. And already five five turnovers in the first four and a half minutes of the basketball game. That just cannot happen. I think I think the Warriors have been extremely loyal throughout their entire tenure. No doubt. And so I don't think any one move or even a combination of moves would all of a sudden put them into the you're completely unloyal category. I think they owe it to themselves to just try to field the right. best roster to get back into a, a right. championship conversation while you have Steph Curry. And, and that might not even be possible. It might not be possible. It might not be. It might not be. Now, I know I have a player in Kaminga. Very proud of Agreed. Kaminga, we know we got a player there. Potts yeah. could be somebody. Potts could be something. What is he? Is he a pure point guard? Is he a two guard? He's got to work on his jumper. No doubt about that. But Paz does a lot of good things on the basketball court that doesn't translate out to the box score. That's just, it is what it is. Trace Jackson Davis, I got a player there. Yes. I got a, I got an eight, nine, maybe seven rotation guy. Like this guy can play. Yeah, I agree. Gets above the rim. He knows his role. He's smart. He's yelling out defense and watching him communicate. So I know I got a player. Moses Moody, I have no idea who he is. Then I've got a core in Draymond Clay and Andrew Wiggins. And when I'm looking at Draymond and Andrew Wiggins and Pods, and you have three starters in your lineup that score a combined nine points, you're not going to win a lot of basketball games. <laughs> no. With three of your five starters score a combined nine points. And McBride scores nine in the first, like, second. Right. Hard side scored eight in the first quarter. <laughs> well, how many, what did McBride hit? Three straight threes yes. in the second game? Yeah, yeah I mean... Hard side score eight in the first quarter. McBride scores 29 points. McBride, in the previous three games, has scored 19 in 57 minutes. Last night, he scores 29 in 46 minutes. How's that happen? Because you don't have a lot of elite athletes on this basketball team that can't stay in front of their guy. And so Brunson and McBride are getting in the paint. They're kicking out. And I saw Burks and Bogdanovich. And these guys are having wide open threes. Even Cinto, wide open threes. Triple drive penetration kills this team. They're starting to rear its ugly head again. Well, they're so. old. They're yeah, old and go. they're not great defensively. Um, again, we, we, we keep coming back to the same thing. They've got a lot of redundant parts. They've yep. got a lot of one-way players. And that's what makes Jonathan Kaminga so valuable on this team. If you're going to have older players who lean offense, you got to have some young right. thoroughbreds who can play both ends of the floor. So, so look. Are they making a deep run in the playoffs right now? Does it look like they could get out the play in tournament? Right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to sit here and talk championship. Well, I'm gotta, not going to insult people. You got to get to the Right. Plans. You might not get to the playoffs. The Rockets are three games behind you in the tip spot. You're tied with the Lakers in the lost color for ninth spot. Can, can, you got to play the Lakers again. You got to play the Mavericks twice. You got to play the Pelicans. You got the T Wolves on Sunday in Minnesota. You got the Rockets again. You got Indiana on Friday. That's no gimme game. Would not even making the tournament be more demoralizing than like that? That, that might be the most demoralizing way to put a punctuation oh mark gosh. on this season. Oh my gosh! If the Rockets catch you, oh I mean, because you have that, you have the tiebreaker, so you, essentially you have like a four game lead on them. Oh man! Essentially, that would be man. I mean. Even if you lost in a one game scenario, because I know how Warrior fans are, and I know, like, well, it is LeBron. Well, it is, you know, whatever. It is Kyrie and Luka, or whatever. You lose in one of those playing scenarios. But to lose to the Rockets and not even get to the plan, that's about as no. low as it gets. The most expensive roster of basketball. If you don't make the playoffs, that's a massive, massive disappointment. There ain't no, oh, well, we lost to Luka and Kyrie, or we lost to LeBron and AD. It's not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? And so that would be a massive disappointment in a year full of disappointments. So deep run, nobody's talking about it. I'm not going to talk about a deep run. I'm not going to. Not right now. They're 10th place, ninth place in the West. I'm not going to sit here and talk about a deep playoff run. <laughs> we got to take this thing game by game. So I'm going to have a winning homestead. You know what I'm saying? The game seven last year versus Sacramento feels so long ago. Oh. It's 
go to Coach of Vallejo. Coach. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a long year. Coach of Vallejo, what's happening? It's been happening? a long year. What's up, Coach? Hey, good good morning, guys. How you doing? Good. And uh, as usual, I'm, I'm going to say things that are not popular, but it's what I feel when you ask what the Warriors do. Yeah, let's hear the it. The Warriors definitely need to, yeah, they definitely need to put Clay back in the starting lineup because what he does with his threat, even if he's not making the shot, he opens up that lane for Kaminga mm-hmm. and Wiggins. And like, you know, like uh, they said last night, a wall is waiting for Kaminga now when he goes there. Uh, gets the ball because of the lack of outside shooting, yep. and that's what killed him last night. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, you had no offense from Wiggins, Draymond, or Pajinski. Now, about Pajinski, I know it's unpopular to talk against him. However, you talk about things he brings that's not in the stat sheet. Well, things in the stat sheet is what help you win, okay? He's not the only smart basketball player out there. Kamingo uh, is very intelligent. And he he gets in a hurry sometimes, but he's very intelligent. Moody is very intelligent. He does not bring enough offense or athleticism to be a starting well, guard playing thirty minutes I, a night. I'll let, cook. Hey, I'll let you cook, hey coach. I'll let you cook. I'll let you cook. But Draymond Green is walking into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame for producing games that don't translate onto the box score. Okay, let me finish with that. You can't. You could do that with one player, but you can't have three yeah, guys. I, I, that I, I agree I, with. That I, I'm with that you. That I agree hey, with. Hey, hey, coach. That I'm, I agree. That's with. why I didn't like the two big lineup last season because Looney and Draymond, two offensive line. I'm with you and, there. And Potts doesn't Multiple defend. Guys. He doesn't defend at a level to play opposite Curry that that I need. Like to yeah. me, that's just my In particular opinion. Court. I'm I'm with. Keep I'm, coach it. I'm keep, keep, cooking, keep going, coach. coach. You know, and I and I agree with you, Chasky, because. Again, they need defense at a point of yes, attack. Yes. He cannot stay in yeah. front of these guards. You know, you have to play Wiggins and Kaminga to play point guards, you know, and that's always been the case. Now, Kerr, uh, it's hard to do, but he really needs to give someone like he only a few minutes with some quickness that could stay in front of people. But he's not going to do that. And right now, I'm very unpopular saying that Paz should not begin 35 minutes a game. I know that, but he really shouldn't. He's not there yet. Good call, Coach. Good call. And maybe he does slot back. Maybe there's a rookie wall. Maybe he does go back down to 25 minutes a game. Maybe you do dust off. At, at any point, if you're Steve Curry, he's probably thinking, we're 35 and 32. I got to turn over every rock and see what hits. You know what I'm saying? I got to flip over every car to see if I can hit a three-car fl- uh, uh, flush or something. The Royal Flush. I don't know. I, I don't you got to do whatever know. you got to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to do whatever you got to do. Whatever analogy. Uh, you, you're not a poker player? I just. I mean, I'll play, but I don't really know the yeah, names of different yeah. things. I know that I card flush. That is not. Yeah. It. That's not it. Royal I know there's a kind. Royal you can have kind. a flush. Yeah. You have a flush. You have three of a kind. Yeah. You have a Royal Flush. There you go. You know. Chris Moneymaker. A straight. Two pairs. Phil Hellmuth. Straight. He's a big Warriors fan. Phil Hellmuth. Is he? Where's he yeah. from? Yeah, he emcees the uh, Warriors charity poker tournament every year, which where's is a big from? deal. Uh, I'm not sure where he's, he's from. from here. I think he's from the Bay. Really? Yeah. Oh, Did he not lives know here. that. I know who who is an excellent poker player, Ryan Covey. Um, you know when you think about the lineup here, I don't know what you want me to do. Well, no, he was he always would talk about how he yeah, was a very good yeah. poker player. I mean, everybody always says they're a great poker player, but well, I admit I'm not. You know, no, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. like you could be a good poker player. How much money are you winning? Well, I think Ove used to go to the Oaks Card Club. Yeah, he, he was yeah. he was yeah, yeah. well known. No, I know, I know. Oh, trust me, I know, oh, I know. It all lied, but I don't want to put his his business out there in the street. Uh, let's go to Raider Debater. I what don't can- know what to do with that. Was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Raider Debater, my guy, Raider Debater, aka Mike Snow. He's in the building. There you go, B. There you go, putting out my government name again. But it's all good, man. It's all love. I love being on, man. Uh, Haven't talked to Joe since he's been back. Welcome back, Joe, man. I love you. Thank you, man. I hope hope the positive energy for myself and all the other roasters, man, continue to drive you to keep being great, brother. Much love. Much love. I appreciate it. For sure, for sure. Absolutely, all the time. And Bonte, you're no longer Bonte Belafonte, man. Your new name is Bonte, the real deal, Holy Hill. You know what I mean? How you wow. still tall with Draymond Green, man. How you still tall with Draymond Green, man. You still tall, ten toes. You really, really, when he tried to embarrass you on TV, man. You okay. still tall, man. You're now the treasurer of the Dante. 
you, you now the that's, treasurer that's of the Draymond right. Green uh, un, un fan club. You know what I mean? Me, <laughs> okay, you, okay. and B- Mike. Mike, do me a favor. <laughs> do me a favor. Let's move past the Draymond thing for my boy, my boy here. Let's just let's keep it moving. Let's go, Mister Raider Debater. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm going I'm to keep it moving. Because I am the Raider debater, I have the silver and black lining for the Dubs. I believe they're still uh, championship contenders. I believe they'll still make a deep run. And I believe this is the reason why is because Andrew Wiggins is consistently inconsistent. I cracked the Da Vinci Code on this. I don't know if that means he's consistent or inconsistent. But because of his inconsistency and he's consistent on being inconsistent, <laughs> we know that this will mean that the Dubs will make a huge run. Let me tell you why. Hey, Ludman and, and, and Spadoni, get back there on the stats. The last four seasons with Andrew Wiggins, when you go back to even the play-in uh, year, in February, for some reason, he's had tremendous slumps. Even in January sometimes, he had tremendous slumps. When we went on that 15-5 and five run going into the play-in, Andrew Wiggins was scoring 22 points and five rebounds. That was in March and April. For some reason, in February, he has bad months. He even leaves the team for a long time. And then when he comes back, he's like... And we had to flush to debate him, courtesy it. of Floyd Water <laughs> and Plumbing. If you, for all your plumbing needs, go to Floyd Water and Plumbing. So much time. Shout out to Brian. <laughs> inconsistently, consistent, consistently, inconsistently. It. I don't even. I I'm felt lost. like it was. You know what I felt like? I felt like I was watching the Charlie <laughs> Kelly meme, where all like the things are pinpointing you know, on the map. I don't even know what they call I, that meme. I, I will say this real quick. Holy the Dre, moly! The Draymond situation is not going away. I'm running to the bathroom. I'm walking to the bathroom, but I just hear a guy yell. When is this? Uh, last night at the okay. game. Hey, man, you and Draymond still beefing? Just some random dude <laughs> like he knows me. It's like, dude, there ain't no beef. Relax. You know what you guys need to do? Yeah, do what everyone does in hip-hop. Put out a duet, you know? <laughs> Put out an album together. <laughs> do a podcast. Watch a hell of the Draymond Green show. Oh, you would love that. No, on the are. Colin Cowherd, the volume network, that would break. You would. You want to talk about a change of heart? Blonte would be like, you know, me and me and the, me and the herd. You guys saw who's starting up a podcast too, didn't you? No, Mr. LeBron James. You know, he's teaming <laughs> oh, up. Oh, JJ Reddick. That That's means right. he's absolutely coming to the. No, that means he's absolutely checked out on winning another championship. He's starting a podcast means. with who else? Who else is in it? JJ, JJ Reddick. Oh. They're going to talk all basketball for forty-five minutes, straight basketball, nothing else. Straight hoops. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, let's see how long Robin in SF lasts. By the way, Floyd Water Plumbing and Drain. Uh, get the get it right, love. Come on, get get it right. Get, hook me up, Robin. What's happening? Hey, sugar. How both of y'all doing? So, first of all, Raider Mike, you gotta leave Bonte alone because if anybody is in the hater club about Draymond Green, it's me. And baby, if I was standing in front of you, I'll go toe to toe with you about Draymond. I'm gonna let that go because I wish I could be in front of Draymond Green's face and I tell him about his get down that is funky. In terms of your dream about the Warriors make a deep playoff run, you better wake up and smell the coffee because they are 500 team. Wiggins is inconsistent. The whole team is inconsistent. They have a scoring problem. And each night, y'all ride the roller coaster about how they're going to do this and how they're going to do that. They got a 500 team. They are a victim of their own success. And what you really need to look at is how the team and how the organization is going to build and not end up in the lottery from this point forward. Get out of dreamland. I'm 65 years old, baby. And you better wake up and you better leave Monte alone, okay? <laughs> and I'll go totally tell what you about Draymond Green. Peace out, and I love you both. Oh, Shasky, I hope you're doing it right, baby. I am. Thank you. I appreciate that. 